Livingston, um, Dexterity. As most people know me, um, I'm the founder of Dexterity Photography. Um, the name comes from a two-part uh, name, that is Dexter and Didi. You put them together, you get Dexterity. The name Dexterity actually started way back in JSS. Uh, I remember I was looking for a screen name to create for when um, Yahoo Messenger came through, so I was just by the computer, I was like, oh, uh, I didn't figure out a name, but I didn't want to use my own name. But at that time, my favorite um, cartoon character was uh, Dexter. Uh, Dexter's lab, so most of you remember, and I could identify with him because I felt that anything that I had in mind that I wanted to do, that is, any creative aspect, I have a problem, I could figure it out and then come up with it. But there was another side of me which liked to play, have fun, just be silly, which was the DD part, the sister, so just right there, everything just connected and just stacked them together. Born in Edukrom, stayed there for about, I think, two years, and then we moved to Tema. So fast forward all the way to high school, um, I went to Prempe, Prempe College. After uh, Prempe, I was supposed to actually go join the, the sports team because we were having this national awards, but um, I had also uh, gained um, admission into one school in China that I was supposed to go and, and study the language. It was just for fun, so learn the Chinese language for some few months and then when you're done, you just leave. But whilst I was there, I found another medical school that teaches medicine in English in China, so I contacted my parents and then they were like, oh, it's cool, so if you think you like it, then go ahead. So I started medical school in 2008 to 2014, 15, thereabout, that's where I graduated. Photography actually started um, when I was in JSS, actually. Um, my, I had a film camera that my dad gave. I, I used to take it to school to try and make some few recordings. Um, of my friends, just documentation purpose because we're in uh, Form 3, we're about to finish. So, you know, we're having fun, we go steady, we are late um, in school after everyone is gone, we're doing extra classes, so I'll take my camera, take some pictures. The real thing started in university whilst I was in China. I had this roommate, um, Adi. Uh, he, had his, he had a DSLR that was the D40, Nikon D40. So we used to go out to document um, events for a website called We Live in Dalian. He was a party type, I was a reserve type. So he likes to join the fun that, you know, um, is happening and he gave the camera to me to try. So after seeing that, I decided that, oh, um, this is something that I really want to do. This is something that I really want to go ahead. So that's where it really stepped from. Bought my first camera, the D5100, and then um, started shooting the sports, my friends in school, just as I, I used to do back in JSS. And then it, it took off. I shot two weddings in China. I graduated to shooting uh, models, had Chinese friends, they came over, and some um, international students as well, as well as local um, international people, not students, that were working. So I would shoot for companies, I would shoot for um, models, I would shoot for just about anything, family and all that stuff. My first ever highest gig was here in Ghana. I, it was with um, an energy company. I first shot for their CEO, I shot them portraits, so they liked the work. They called me, it's like, okay, we have this other gig, why don't you come and cover a whole um, area, drone footage as well as some pictures and all. So that was one of the biggest gigs that I had. They ended up selecting lots of pictures that I have to sit for like almost two weeks to edit. I think he's more than just a photographer, he goes much deep into like what should be done and he makes the works so so very amazing he does most of my job for me in terms of directing photography uh, this is a doctor who is doing photography and so i was expecting that most of the job i would do but i think we work hand in hand and i'm very very i like him for that he cuts my work very very short for me anything that i'm shooting wedding portraits whatever i like to apply the creativity to it so it's a general all-round, but if I'm to mention names, so portraits, weddings, macro, that is buds, flowers, details, and all that stuff. Light painting, uh, where you get to paint with light. And then um, some documentary street photography. I, I wish I could tell you point blank, you know, like this is how much we charge, you know, but it depends on the service that you want. Everyone is not, I mean, every, every service that we offer is not the same, yes, but um, it ranges from 400, 300, based on what you want, it varies. And we also charge for uh, editing time. We also offer retouching services. Um, not just, oh, I can crop your picture, I can make a color better. No, I'm talking of proper skin retouching that doesn't look plastic. 
So that's part of our work that we do. So if we are billing you, we bill you for the shoot time as well as the editing time as well. So let me take you to some of the places that I work. Um, behind me, you can already see um, the setup. So this is where we shoot, but let me take you to the place where we do the editing. Welcome to the editing room. This is where um, all the editing happens after we've taken the picture, be it wedding, portraits, whatever. We bring it here to do most of the work. So um, um, I have two monitors because I, I need to get a perfect calibration of the color. That's why I have that. Um, my Wacom tablet, that's what I use to edit. I got the small because it's portable. So you can travel around anywhere that you go with it. So basically this is my setup. Nothing fancy, nothing. Um, too, too out of the box or crazy, so that's just what we do. I use Lightroom and then Photoshop. So image comes in here, we organize, and then we get to pick the image, comes into Photoshop for us to do most of the detailed work. Then after it goes back into Lightroom, and then we get to export the picture as we need it. It's as simple as that with my Wacom tablet. Um, just, that's it. I play music to just entertain myself, but basically this is where everything happens. The challenge is actually has to do with the social life. I would want to go out and do street, but I get out there and the comments that you'll be hearing people say can discourage you. One typical example that I can give is when I show up in the middle of Oxford Street. Um, you probably see the picture. And um, three models walking in the middle of Oxford Street in traffic. And one taxi driver was like, away and we in Faso Bene de Bebremo. You know, that kind of thing. And someone was like, you know, you, you, you have all these comments coming in and it's it's annoying you know you'd be like oh god what am I doing so that's for me that is the biggest challenge I've been nominated for two awards um, Afroma awards um, also um, yeah from Nikon as well uh, the People's Choice Awards um, so for the Afroma it was, it was just a nomination but I didn't win that one but for the Nikon one I won that one the city photography we work as a team um, we are designated by the color of the D that is the D part of the Dexter D. That's what I mean by that. Um, so we have the blue D, we have the orange D. So I'm the orange and then my assistant is the blue D. Then we have the purple D and then we have the green D. So those are the two females. Yeah, so they get to choose a color based on what they feel like. I personally like the color orange, though I'm wearing blue. I should be wearing orange, but it's just a saying. But um, these are the people that I work with generally. Sometimes we do hire based on whatever that we need, but that's basically it. My name is Prosper Abibio Ajeman, known as the Blue D. Um, I've been working with the City Photography for the past two years. Um, I started as a result of um, when I went through his class, his photo class, um, for six months. And then from there, I joined in and then we started from there. So anytime he is doing a shoot, I am around to assist, so I'm his main assistant. Although I do it professionally, I still consider photography as a leisure. That's one, because uh, I don't have to shoot always to be paid. I shoot it for fun. The second thing is I, I do music. Um, these days I don't do it that much, but it's basically beat making or just sampling some few tracks that I hear from here and there. So that's one other um, area that I uh, do for leisure. Also, I like to read uh, motivational books, let me say. Not motivational, but self-development books. And I try to post um, one image each morning for Instagram, there's a time, you know, because what I believe is that uh, in the morning, most people are in their buses or in their cars and traffic stacks, so they would want something to keep them busy. So that's a perfect time to post something for Instagram. So that's what I do. I drink a lot of water and other juices, so just eat around 11 o'clock, because in the morning I don't feel hungry. I know as a doctor, it's not <laughs> the best thing, because they say breakfast is the most important thing, but it's how my body responds. In the morning, I don't feel for anything. It's just water or any other drink that I can get. Um, then from there, if I have a shoot, I usually start at 10. So my shoots will be at 10 o'clock throughout the day or based on the time that it's booked. If I have a shoot in the morning, be it a wedding, I go shoot as early as 6 a.m. And also it varies based on what I have to do during the day. So that's typically my day. Mm -hmm.